I'm just going to show you just a few points, and these, these are really all examples from the design exercise that we carried out. And that's how, I mean, any, any group anywhere finds the right design and the right team. And they set a series of challenges and thoughts, and we respond to them. And so everything that we have here is just really our first responses to the first stage in the early master plan that came around. And that creates an image and a thought about how we would approach the design of a building like this. And all of our thoughts really come around shaping a building of this type. It comes from inspiration that's local, resonant from the landscape, to the weaving, the structure, the themes, the things like this that touch the imagination, the soul, and the heart of the country. And I think the woven concept for us, and the idea of bringing individual parts together to create something stronger, we thought had some great resonance here. And that was something I think that we wanted to experiment with. And this concept of a, of a woven structure and a woven idea helped lead us in our first thoughts of how you might approach the design of a building. Almost symbolically, weaving the different parts that lead and take people through a building. And something you understand, for a building of this scale, and processing as it does, uh, millions of passengers, that's the scale of the aspiration. It's all really about the passenger experience, and about clarity, and about the journey, and the joy of travel. And I think that's something that I think, for us as designers, is something that we will embody as this, develop, as this design develops, improves, and changes over time. These are the kind of themes that we'll work through. And you can see, however the master plan finally evolves and brought into the building, one real essence is this integration. All the planes, all the trains, all the trams, how you can bring all of these parts of the building together. And that's something that for us, the way in which these kind of transportation links and hubs can be brought together to create open spaces, covered areas, places for people to welcome each other, places for people to say goodbye. And I think all of those things we're trying to incorporate into any of our thoughts of design. And of course the grandeur and the scale, these are large, grand, uh, exciting buildings because they're processing millions of people. They create the spirit and atmosphere in that story. We use the architecture in any of our designs, and it will be the same here, to create routes and guidance for people so they can listen to the building and implicitly have a feel and intuitively find their way through the spaces that connect the building. And something else, and I think that the way the master plan starts to develop offers these opportunities of clear views and areas out to the runway, that kind of excitement of the, an experience, sort of experiential view. And also the, the opportunity here, I think we look at sort of woven forms that we were talking about and how the idea that you might weave the structure together as you develop it to create a spirit and a character inside the building that is unique and uniquely Polish. And again, experiencing that joy and scale. And then the excitement as the shape and the scale of the building changes as the passengers come to the edge of these spaces. These are all things that we've already started to investigate and think about and how you might see be closer to the building at the same time the spaces adjust, become smaller, you get closer to the planes and start of the journey. And then views out all the way around the building, the connectivity, the ease of use. These are all real points that we want to develop as the design progresses. And then of course the emblematic image, the potential sort of story of a building, but that arrival image and the expression, the ultimate sort of site of the building. So these are just really our first thoughts and how we would respond to the master plan as part of the design selection process, absolutely normal in any project of this size and scale, sharing how we would work with the team, how we would collaborate, uh, how we could bring in the thoughts of others. And uh, we're looking uh, very full, <laughs> we're very much looking forward to the future of the project and developing it alongside all of our partners here. And uh, with that, thank you very much. Oh, sorry about the weather. <laughs> No i teraz e, dzieje się historia, podpisujemy tę bardzo ważną umowę, umowę na zaprojektowanie 
terminala pasażerskiego dworca kolejowego węzła przesiadkowego umowę z master architektem. Passenger first to jest hasło, które przyświeca naszemu wykonawcy, Foster Partners, naszemu projektantowi Passenger First, czyli można powiedzieć pasażer na pierwszym miejscu. Tak powinno być na każdym lotnisku, ale ten, kto podróżuje trochę po świecie samolotami, ten wie, że nie zawsze tak jest. Naszym zamierzeniem jest to, żeby na CPK pasażer był zawsze na pierwszym miejscu. Umowa została podpisana. Tutaj jeszcze, jeszcze chwila dla, dla fotoreporterów. Czas na wspólne zdjęcie. Zakładamy, że nasze lotnisko będzie gotowe do końca 2027 roku, uruchomione w roku 2028 i w ramach pierwszego etapu będzie w stanie obsłużyć, to jest oparte na prognozach Ajata, do 40 milionów pasażerów. Później w zależności od rozwoju rynku będzie etapowane, rozwijane. Na rok 2060 przewidujemy 65 milionów pasażerów.